take one size eight gymnast who wants to compete again. I need to feel a little bit more svelte and lean. Add three clever cooks willing to share their skinny secrets. Allow six weeks to drop a dress size. Hello. And you've got a recipe to cook yourself thin. Want to know how to indulge and still lose the bulge? We're going to show you how. By revamping your favorite foods and cutting the calories. Without sacrificing the flavor, we're going to teach you how to cook yourself thin. Our challenge today, getting our gymnast back into shape with healthier versions of her favorites. Fried chicken tenders, penny a la vodka, and peanut butter and chocolate. Meet Brandy. She's extremely athletic and has been a size zero her entire life, which means she had virtually no body fat until now. Brandy is a new mom and she is learning that baby weight is not easy to lose. I am happy fat. Gained about 25 to 30 pounds, been a size zero my whole life and would really like to get back down there again. Brandy's also a fitness instructor and owns her own gym. I'm very serious about my job and I realize that I become a role model for the kids that I teach and it's kind of hard to be that role model when you don't feel as good about your body as you can and it really kind of stinks that all my employees are rock hard bodies. Brandy's just as passionate about cooking as she is about gymnastics and the way to score a perfect 10 in her kitchen, mayo and mayo. This mayo maniac needs a new way to satisfy her cravings. Okay, Brandy, let's take a look at your favorite foods. Now, mm. do you know that there are over 3,000 calories on this table? Actually, I didn't, and looking at it just kind of changes the perspective of things just a little. <laughs> Realistically, what is your ideal weight? Um, I guess my ideal weight, I'd like to be 120 pounds around there, you know, a couple dress sizes down just to feel better about myself again. Okay, well, your calorie intake should be about 10 times your ideal weight, okay. so that's going to be 1,200 calories a day. But what we love about you is that you're active, so you can actually have a little bit more in there. So that's good to know, because yeah. I was going to say from 3,000 to, you know, that doesn't sound so much fun. <laughs> but we do need to cut this down. And the great news is we've got some recipes that are going to help you do that. I'm very excited about that. Well, let's yes. get going. Let's go to the kitchen. Sure. I love to cook uh, chicken tenders. I like them breaded and coated with mayo. I'm going to okay. swap out some of that mayo for a little bit of a buttermilk dressing marinade. But we're not just using buttermilk. We're also going to flavor it with a few other things. I've got some garlic here. A little bit of thyme. A bay leaf. A little hot pepper. Here's the buttermilk. Do you see how thick this is? Oh, absolutely. Give it a little stir. Sure. I'm going to dip the chicken in here. Let it marinate for one hour. Candace is going to show you the special side dish. This is like an unbelievable coleslaw recipe. You can put whatever vegetables you want in coleslaw, right? We're going to start with a beautiful red pepper. And also red onion. This. Mm is like a basic cabbage mix that you get at the store. Mm. Just buy it out of the bag. Oh, one of those bags. Yep. Just throw it in. It's like whatever. So it's good to know. You know what I mean? Save some time. We're going to do a little bit of buttermilk and then a little bit of sour cream. But yes. this is a low fat sour cream. I want you to put this in. This is sure. rice wine vinegar. OK. And then we've got <laughs> good. I love hot sauce. I know. <laughs> we saw that. You want your buttermilk, yeah? Oh, yeah. This is how we're going to take place of your mayo. It still has the same creamy texture. Okay. It's going to give you a lot of flavor and that zip that you love. So just pour it right over. Go, go for it. <laughs> this is my kind of thing to douse something with. Yeah. <laughs> See, it's, it's like playing the tricks on yourself. Yeah, it looks really good. <laughs> All right, so now how do you usually do your breading? Probably usually just some plain old breadcrumbs. Plain old breadcrumbs. Yeah. We're, we've got something that's a little bit better. Okay. You ready? 
cornflakes. <laughs> Now, we like to use cornflakes for this because they're crispy, right? And right. these aren't gonna be fried chicken tenders, but we want a good crispy crust. Okay. Cornflakes does that. So now we're gonna crumble these guys up. Perfect. Here's your chicken tender. You can see, it's got that good thick coating. It really looks like as if I had put my mayo on it, so it looks really good. <laughs> Excellent, that's what we were going for. Now, we're just gonna lay it down. This looks like it's going to be very crunchy. <laughs> so you'd cook these for about 15 minutes in a 400 degree oven. OK. Would you like to serve this with a special sauce? I got a special yes. sauce for you. A little bit of uh, tartar. I love tartar sauce. It's one of those really yummy things that pretty much I think go with anything we I dip in. I completely agree. Reduce that mayo, some capers, buttermilk, gherkins, and then we're just gonna thin it out with a little bit of water, nothing Very to cool. it. This is gonna be a sauce that you can drizzle instead of dip, because when you dip, sometimes you get a whole lot. And that kind of makes me sad that you're not gonna let me dip, but I'll go with it. <laughs> And last two items, we need lemon juice and parsley. That's perfect. Ready? Okay. I'm so excited. Oh. Nice. Hello. Look at the little golden color. brown. They look exactly Way like my good. old recipe. <laughs> There's no way that you could tell these apart. Really good. Ooh. The sauce. Can we just go for Ready? it? Go for it, okay. yes ma'am. Oh, let's go for start it. with the slaw? Yeah, I'm going with the slaw. Mm. That is delicious. Mm. All right. I'm going for it. That is absolutely fantastic. <laughs> Especially with the tartar sauce. That really gives it a nice bite and the cornflake crumbs too. I would have never thought about that. That's so delicious. Mm. Your old cutlets uh -huh. were over a thousand calories a serving. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Here's the good news. The new cutlets and the sauce and the slaw, just over 500. Get out of here. Brandy needs to cut the fat. I need to be a little bit more svelte and lean. So we're taking some of her favorite recipes to the mat. Okay, Brandy, penne a la vodka. It's really the dairy in that recipe okay. that is not good on the waistline. And actually, the thing about the vodka is that you can't really taste it. Of course, we're gonna lose that and replace it with other things that you will be able to taste so you get your amazing, satisfying meal without the calories. Right. So, we've actually come up with a new recipe for you. Okay. Instead of penne a la vodka, I'm gonna call it penne a la nakka. So Harry and I are both going to start with the basics. We're going to sure. do garlic and onions. We're going to hit this with a little bit of olive oil. Let the garlic go just until it's aromatic, which means you get the scent in there. OK. In it goes. Mm -hmm. When I cook at home, I like to do it like, I think of it like when it talks to me. Do you know what, Brandy? We're on a similar wavelength, because I always think I know when it's ready when it starts singing. So there right, we go. See, so there <laughs> we go. That's so true. <laughs> Should I be putting some salt into the water? Ah, yes, that would be okay. lovely. Perfect. We're doing that to add a little bit extra flavor without adding extra fat and calories. Lovely. Beautiful. So what we want to do is we kind of want to get your hands in there, feel them, squeeze okay. them. Go for it, go for it. So how long ago did you have your baby? Um, he is 10 months old and just a sweetheart and uh, you know, it's definitely the reason why I'm looking to try and cook healthy again so I could set a good example for him, but also kind of help myself kind of get back to the weight that I was before I had him. We also want you to remember that you can still absolutely be happy with the foods you're cooking that we're going to teach you. Exactly. It's a kind of, well, you're eating what you love. You're losing the weight that you want to lose. I mean, there literally is no drawback. So. What are we missing out on, really, right. honestly? Nothing, Nothing at all. Except the fat. Except the fat. <laughs> there you go. All right, ladies, I added our crushed with love tomatoes in. Mm. We know you love your creaminess, so yes. we're going to add cream still. We're not going to deprive you of every single ingredient. 
So I want to give you the secret ingredient to this okay. recipe, non-fat evaporated milk. This is going to cut out some of the fat and calories, but it's still going to add the oh. creaminess that you had from the heavy cream. Oh, okay. That's yes. really interesting. Okay. All right. So we're going to do the basics. We're going to do salt. We're going to do okay. pepper. And, of course, Harry. A little bit of chili flake. That looks so good. <laughs> My it mouth does, is watering. It? I'm yeah. so excited. I'm ready for this. I know. We wanted to cook this to an al dente. The girls want to try the al dente mm -hmm. pasta. What? Lost one. Uh, whatever. <laughs> is it firm to the two? It is firm to the two. It's perfect. <laughs> so how much should Just I pour in? Just a tiny bit. So remember, this is like starchy water. Okay. It's a thickener that you were throwing out in the sink normally. Well, I've just given myself a steam facial. Are you ready? <laughs> Fabulous. <laughs> See, you really can save you money by really? cooking at home. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It smells so delicious. I'm gonna just toss this up around here. When can we eat it? I think it's just about done. We're gonna take sure. Parmesan cheese and we're just gonna lightly go over. Perfect. Oh, look at that. Oh, and it's shavings, that's even better. We're just gonna make sure we mix all this in. Now is time for the basil. So the basil will come in, it will finish us off with some color and flavor. So is this looking more like the penne that you're used to at home? Absolutely, it looks so delicious. It looks just like my favorite penne. Perfect. Are you ready to eat? Oh, yes. yes. Okay. A little bit of cheese. Oh, so I still get my cheese. That makes you me do. so happy. Of course you get your cheese. You get your penne a la notka mm. and your cheese. And yes. you get to cook yourself then, mm. so. Mm -hmm. Which is perfect. It's all the small little changes that amount to a big change. Absolutely. Doesn't that look good? I can't wait to dig in. Cheese, please. Cheese, please, please. <laughs> oh. That is flipping that delicious. That is really Great. good. You really don't even miss any kind of a vodka or anything in there. Mm. It tastes just like the one that I love. Absolutely awesome. Really great. Mm -hmm. Do you know how much your old pasta dish was worth? Your Do I really want to know? Well, <laughs> I think it's time to fess up and tell you. Right. <laughs> 640 calories was your last bowl of pasta. Oh, my goodness. And if I told you that this was only 366 calories, would you believe me? I probably wouldn't. But now that I saw you make it, I definitely can see why the calorie would be much less. So tasting is literally believing. So are you going to cook yourself then? Absolutely, with this recipe, I definitely will. She's going to be squelching tomatoes with her son for six weeks. <laughs> Brandy's all about teaching kids physical fitness. I become a role model for the kids that I teach. But when it comes to the food she eats, she's got a lot to learn. Brandy, I've seen you take great big slabs of chocolate and go and dip it yes. into the peanut butter. Now, so it tastes good for about three seconds, and then it's like, oh, what have I done? Absolutely. We're going to revamp this completely so that you get both your hit of chocolate and the peanut butter. OK. Now, the first thing to do is to line with waxed paper a baking tray by using a wax surface, you're not going to need butter or any other kind of fat to mm, oil the base. Okay. So simply take these low-fat chocolate wafers, okay. put them into the bowl of the kitchen. That needs to be quite nice and fine. Now I'm adding oats, some sugar. Low-fat peanut butter's gone into there as well. A little bit of melted butter. Blitz one more time. OK, here we go. Nice. Use your hand, flatten it right down. OK. The melted butter's going to sort of bring it together because okay. it's going into the fridge. OK. OK, so next layer is your creamy, delicious peanut butter layer. So right. we're starting with a reduced fat cream cheese. Now we're going to puff this up a little bit. And then put in a little bit of vanilla. OK. And a reduced fat peanut butter as well. At this point, because this is the middle layer, which is slightly more squidgy, you can also add mashed banana, apple puree, anything like that that doesn't add any extra fat, but will definitely add some more flavor. That is perfect. This has been refrigerating for okay. 10 minutes, so it's come together, it's nice and firm, and this is going to go over the top, and I'm going to let you smooth it over. Mm. I can tell you want to already. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Mm. 
Now that's going to freeze for 10 minutes. We're just going to go and start some melted chocolate. This is called uh, a double boiler, and basically what it means is you're heating the chocolate, but you're not going to burn it because chocolate will crystallize and burn very easily. Oh, okay. So by doing it this way, it's just an overall heat, but it's more gentle. So okay. Real chocolate really can't be substituted, you know right. what I mean? Yes. I haven't yet found anything in this world that quite compares. Now listen, that's done, which is perfect. Brandy, okay. why don't you take your spoon and just give me a drizzle over the top? So just like a little drizzle, not too crazy. No, 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 you, we're going to use this because this is literally all part of the recipe. Nice. <laughs> I got little drizzles going. You see? There we now go. you're in the groove. <laughs> now I'm having fun. <laughs> all right, I'm going to pop this in the fridge for another 10 minutes. Great. I'm very excited. This comes out really nice and easy. Handle. So this is for eight people. Okay. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut it into eight. They look beautiful. Look at the layers. I know. It looks so pretty, like a nice presentation on a plate. Go for it. Mmm. <laughs> mm. That very much satisfies that sweet and salty that you need. That is so delicious. Isn't it good? Mm -hmm. Now, I put my plate down because I'm going to shock you with some figures. <clears throat> you know your little habit of yes. dipping and, you know, over 1,400 calories that was costing you. Oh, that's hard to hear. <laughs> well, the good news is this delicious little peanut bar is only 157 cows per slice. That's crazy. That's a huge difference. <laughs> it is. I mean, it's sort of almost taking off a zero, so yeah. wow. Um, and no compromising on the flavour. Are you getting what you want from it? Oh, absolutely. The salty, the sweet, and it was just... Mm, it was so delicious. It really gave me that sense that I was still eating something kind of bad for you. So, Brandy, we've come up with a beautiful basket here to help you cook yourself thin. And here's the Cook Yourself Thin cookbook with even more recipes to help you drop a dress size. I'm excited. At the beginning of the day, we were sitting around a table with 3,000 calories on it, and that was your average day. Yes. <laughs> and now we've trimmed that for lunch, dinner, and dessert to just over 1,000 calories. Everything tasted so delicious, you would have no idea that it was half the calories. Exactly, because it's not about compromising on the flavor. Right. It's making sure that you just cut out the calories and the fat that don't need to be there. Thank you guys so much. It's been so eye-opening, but at the same time, I've really enjoyed having you guys teach me, really, how to cook correctly. Are you going to drop a dress size? Absolutely. Come Absolutely. on. I'll make you guys proud. <laughs> it's been six weeks since Brandy flipped over our oven-fried chicken tenders, penne a la natka, and chocolate peanut butter dream bars. We're excited to see if she's dropped that dress size. Hey. Hello. Hi. How are you? You must be Brandy's husband. David, yes. Hello. Nice to meet you. you. Here, have Thank a seat, you. please. Thank you. Welcome. I'll be right back and I'll bring her in for you guys. Terrific. Okay, great. Thanks. Okay. <laughs> I've cooked myself thin. I know. <laughs> so clearly you've dropped a dress size, but it, it looks like more than that. What did you drop? Um, I think it actually may be about two dress sizes. Oh. Oh. I'm very excited about that. I actually lost 15 pounds. So. <laughs> oh, you? Yes, oh, I was really, I was actually surprised by it as well. David, you, I mean, your wife looks amazing. She does. <laughs> I have to tell you, well. you look just unbelievable. I mean, Thank sensational, you. really. Thank you, I feel great too. In just six weeks, Brandy dropped two dress sizes. Now that's cooking yourself thin. So, Brandy, what were your favorite cook yourself thin recipes? Well, definitely my favorite was uh, the chicken tenders that you guys showed me how to make. It was so good, and I think, you know, with David, what the best part was is that he got to also enjoy the food, and I didn't tell him sometimes things that I would swap out. But you had no well, I, idea. <laughs> I couldn't tell the difference between the taste of the, old, the, the, the foods from prior and then the foods from now, from the from Cook Yourself Thin, and then not only did she lose weight, but I lost weight myself. Yes. Yes. Really? He did. totally did. He I totally did. did. Wow. So it was great. So it's it was like great a, for the two of us. Yeah, we're in a general happy house now. <laughs> so what about your training? I mean, we heard that you were also getting ready to compete. Yes, I am. I'm actually going to be competing in the Empire Games, so I'm very excited oh, about that. Oh. I'm dying to see um, a demo, I have to say. Yes, yes we're going to get to see a fun Demo, yes. I promise. <laughs> Thank you guys so, so much. Thank you. Thank you guys. Good job, girls. Thank you guys. Thank you guys. <laughs> Look at you. Whoa. Whoa. 